Hi, welcome to all of you in the third part of the mixing and operation. In this video discussion, you will learn dry powder or the dry ingredients mixing and operations. The mixing of dry ingredients or the dry powders. Basically, the preparation of the food product like the ready mix or the ready to cook product. The different type of the product in which the dry ingredients must require to properly mix. Also, some of the additives which are added into the small quantity to the dry ingredients must require to properly mix uniform to the final product, which is directly related to the quality of the final product. The main factor should require to consider for the dry powder or the dry ingredient mixings, that is the dry ingredients it's containing the particle this particle size shape density and the moisture containing these are the main parameters which are affected on the mixing process then the second parameters that is the free flowing ability of the dry ingredients you can see the first the free flowing powders and the second one is the cohesive powder as per the properties of the ingredients that means the particle size shape density and the moisture containing which is affected to the free flowing ability to the ingredients if the free flowing ability is very good then mixing is properly achieved if the powder is cohesive powder then which is slightly affected to the mixing mode operation these are the parameters related to the particle size it's containing moisture shape the next point how the particle size which is affected during the mixing unit operation the first you can see the two ingredients this is the first ingredient and the second ingredients in which the both ingredients free flowing powders with similar in size in this case mixing unit operation is uh, occurred very uniform and the mixing unit operation is uh, with high quality if the particle size are the different you can see both are the free flowing uh, ingredients first and second but particle size are different smaller size and the medium size which is possibility to affect mixing unit operation in which the possibility to occur the segregation that means lower size of the particles which are the retained at the bottom and the medium or the large size of the particle retained at the top in the third case the ingredients in which the smallest ingredient smaller size ingredient there is the cohesive powder and the second ingredient which is the free flowing powder during the mixing operation cohesive powder which is directly attached to the free flowing powders and uniform mixing is occurred these are the three cases in which directly the particle size shape and the density and the moisture containing which is the main parameters should require to consider for the mixing of dry ingredients. What is mean by segregation during the mixing operation? Segregation occurs by a different number of the ways. Segregation that means during the mixing unit operation, if the particle size is difference with free flowing property of the particle size, is the ingredient first and the ingredient second with different size and both are the free flowing ability in this case during the mixing node operation the possibility that the smallest size particle mostly retained at the bottom and the medium or the, or the largest size of the particle retained at the top the mixing equipments in which the main three group first that is the tumbling mixer then second ribbon mixer and the screw mixer First one is the tumbling mixer, it means the tumbling action which is responsible for the mixing of the free flowing non segregated powder material in which tumbling mixer material must require to dry with the uniform in size ingredients these are the properly mixed in this tumbling mixer the number of the designs are available the simplest first that is the horizontal cylinder you can see the horizontal cylinder at the center of the cylinder provided with the shaft the shaft then provided with the support bearings this is the power transmission devices electrical motor then again shaft pulley then power transmission devices maybe belt or chain system 
and these are the connected with the central shaft the speed of the rotation must require to maintain lower than the critical speed a required speed 2200 rpm in the cylinder provided with the one door for the filling of the raw material or the ingredients and after the operation of the batch the again ingredients are discharged from the cylinder the second one is the that is the v cone blender you can see this is the v cone blender in which also provided uh, loading of the material and unloading of the material there are the two doors operated similar to the as per the horizontal cylindrical doubling mixer in which the angle of the cones that is 45 degree angles in v cone next other designs in which the double cone tumbling mixer v cone y cone oblique tumbling oblique cone tumbling mixers these are the number of the designs available then working of the tumbling mixer you can see in this image inside of that tumbling mixer also provided with the baffles these are the baffles this this is also baffles these baffles are provided to in order to increase in the efficiency of the mixing operations. In working, the first door is open, then all raw material or the dry ingredients which are the loaded up to 60 to 70% of the total internal volume, then close, then operated for the mixing with specific time. They share the ingredient at the bottom of the tumbling mixer there should be the provision of internal vent in the vacuum as per our requirements or maybe some system there internal provided with the spray systems the sum of the additives which are the spread for the coating purpose second one is the ribbon mixer ribbon mixer is very popular most used for the food processing industries for the mixing of the dry ingredients if the ingredients containing Particle size are the difference, and uh, some of the particles containing slightly moisture, which is also good for the mixing in the ribbon mixer system. Ribbon mixers are the multi purpose use. The main construction of the ribbon mixer you can see the ribbon mixer construction. This is the ribbon mixer, this is the image of the ribbon mixer. These are the internal shaft with the helical blades these are the two helical blades the internal provided with the helical blades the special designs of this helical blades these blades which are the responsible blade movement which is responsible for the mixing of the ingredients the main that is the cylindrical trough which is consist of the u shape u shape trough with the centrally this is the central shaft with provided with the gear system and then connected with the electrical motor the central shaft with connected with the helical blades two helical blades in which the during the mixing load operation the helical blades which are the convey the material from one side to another side in which one helical blade material move faster to the another side and second helical blade which is the slightly opposite direction movement of the material in this way mixing of the ingredient is carried out mostly ribbon mixer are operated batch wise operation in which it at the top provided with the door in which the loading of the material then closing the door then mixing is carried out and after that discharge the material at the bottom the basic application of the ribbon mixer in the spice production industries then the bakery industries and the red to food product preparation industry mostly used for the ribbon mixer in the working of the ribbon mixer in which the loading of the material at the top in which loaded of the material 70 to 80 percent the ingredients addition are the different patterns may be added with the sandwich type next third one is the screw mixer the screw mixer in which may be vertical type or may be horizontal type mostly industrial application vertical type which is uh, more responsible or more uniform mixing is carried out of the dry ingredients in which horizontal type of the screw mixer in which the dry ingredients are also some of the paste like material which is the mixing is carried out 
in the vertical screw mixer in which mixing element you can see the this is the screw the screw with connected with the power transmission devices then the electrical motor the mixing vessel may be cylindrical or may be conical shape the number of uh, designs in which mixing element that is the screw which is rotated at their own axis or may be rotated with their own axis with the orbitary action then second design in which you can see the internal screw with provided internal baffle system these are the baffles these baffles are so rotated maybe cylindrical type maybe conical type of the vertical screw mixer in which working of the screw mixer first loading of the material at the top loading of the material at the top and uh, after the mixing the material is discharged at the bottom the main application for the mixing of the dry ingredients like the preparation of the instant cake preparation of the instant soups uh, or the preparation of the spices bakery products etc these are the references used for the preparation of this powerpoint presentation thank you very much